It would not be easy, however, for Moses to face the Pharaoh and tell him that the Lord demanded the release of the slaves, Egypt's source of free labor. God allowed Aaron, Moses' brother, to go with him into Pharaoh's presence. When they confronted him, Pharaoh said, Who is the Lord that I should obey him and let Israel go? Pharaoh was insulted that the God his slaves worshipped was telling him what to do. So Pharaoh said, I do not know the Lord, and I will not let Israel go. In contempt and anger, Pharaoh then increased the toil of the slaves and made it even more bitter. But Pharaoh had mocked God by asking, Who is the Lord? His question was about to be answered by God himself. Aaron threw his staff down in front of Pharaoh and his officials, and it became a snake. How did Aaron's staff turn into a snake? By the power of God. But Pharaoh wasn't impressed. Pharaoh then summoned wise men and sorcerers, and the Egyptian magicians also did the same things by their secret arts. Each one threw down his staff, and it became a snake. How did the sorcerer's staves turn into snakes? Well, according to the Bible, there are only two sources from which supernatural power is available. From God and from God's enemies, Satan and the demon. 